Recently, I've been creating quite a few colouring books using Ideogram. Now, the reason I've been creating quite a few colouring books is because I had access or beta access to version 2.0. Now, 2.0 has been released to everyone, and that's why you see these examples just here, which are actually on my public profile, as you can see. So if you want to check these out, I will link my profile down in the description. But nonetheless, because I've been creating quite a few colouring books, I've come up with a little method on editing and formatting these ready for the actual colouring book. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Now, if you like the look of these colouring pages, then I actually made a video yesterday, I believe, showing you how to take the prompts from these colouring pages, take them over to ChatGPT, and get new prompts with brand new quotes. So what I'll do, if you're interested, is link that video down in the description as well. Now, quick side note, I just quickly want to mention that our ultimate colouring page prompt generator is back and it's available until 27th of September. So that's just round about a month. Now with the ultimate color and page prompt generator, you get the line art GPT, which is perfect for ideogram, the grayscale GPT, the mandala GPT as well, and also the king GPT. Now the king is actually a combination of all three of these GPTs. Now these GPTs are prompt generators, so all you have to do is input a little bit of info on the color and page that you want, and bam, you then have a perfectly formatted color and page prompt ready for mid journey and also ideogram. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and show you how I edit and format these ready for a color and book. Now, the tool that we are going to be using is Kittle, and I absolutely love Kittle. So what we're going to do is click onto one of these. We'll probably do all five because it's really quick as well. But this is only going to work with line art coloring pages, which means coloring pages with no grayscale. So all of this just here, we can see really nice design, but a really simple one with really clean lines. Now, what we're going to do is just download this like so. We're then going to come over to Kittle. I already have these artboards open. See what I like to do depending on how many coloring pages I'm creating for the book, it will be in between 30 to 50. So I'd have 30 to 50 artboards here, so I can do the whole batch and then download all of my coloring pages, take them over to Canva and then create my coloring book. But nonetheless, what I like to do is, let's just zoom in a little bit as well, maybe one more like this. What I do is just simply take that image, we're going to drop it onto the page just like that. We're then going to enlarge this to make it bigger. Now the size of these artboards, this doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is turn this into an SVG. So the artboard size here doesn't really matter too much. But what we're going to do, we're now going to use the AI background remover like this. This is going to remove the background and as we can see, it looks pretty good. Now on this one, there's nothing that I really have to edit out, but I'll show you anyway. What we're going to do is right click, and then we're going to use one of their latest tools, which is the eraser. And this saves so much time when cleaning up your coloring pages. Now, if we click on there, we can see we now have the eraser tool. We can play around with the size of it just here as well. I tend to keep it on 25, but now if we zoom in, and if there's part of the coloring page, which I don't like because it doesn't look right, we can simply just erase that out just like that. Let's do this one as well over here, but this is what I do to clean up the coloring page. Then once I've done, I zoom back out just like this, and then we're going to vectorize image. Now we're going to use one color and then we're going to click vectorize. And now this is going to turn this into an SVG, which means it's infinitely scalable and you won't get no blurriness. But now that one's done, so let's move on to two. Now this little method as well is extremely quick when you're editing your coloring pages. Now let's take this one, let's download this as well. 
like so. Let's come back over to Kittle. Let's drop it onto the page, like so. Let's also just make this a little bit bigger, like this. Let's do that. Let's go on to AI Background Remover. Now, if we look at these, we can see these bat faces don't look quite right. So what we could do is simply take that out. Let's go to the eraser. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in a little bit more, like so. And then we can simply just erase that out. Now, it doesn't matter when you remove the background if there's still white in the image, because if we take a look here, we can still see some white. When we turn this into an SVG and just use one color, it sorts itself out in the process and takes away all of that white. But if we look at this face, this doesn't quite look right. So let's remove that one as well, like so. It's really easy to do, but this is a vital step in cleaning up your coloring pages. Then I believe there was another one. Where was it? It is down here. So let's do this one as well. Now, what I like to do is all of the coloring pages first, and then once I've edited and converted all of the coloring pages to SVGs, that's when I'll download them, bulk download them, and then take them over to Canva, because Canva is where I create all of my books. Now, let's just get rid of these cheeks as well, like so. Let's do this one on this little ghost as well just like that let's do this other side as well and there we go so now we've edited out the stuff that doesn't quite look right and now if we click exit eraser go on to image vectorizer we're going to do one image vectorize image now you'll see all of this whiteness will just disappear just like that and now this looks even better so again it doesn't really matter about the whiteness in the image when you remove the background because when you convert it, it just converts it to that one black color because that's all that we're choosing. So that's the second one. Let's do the third one as well. Let's come on to here. This is going to be a quick one because this one's actually pretty perfect. So let's do that. Let's put it on the page just like that. We'll increase this as well. Then if I increase it too much like that, the quickest way to line all this up as well is click on the center up here and click on the middle, and now that's centered. Now we can remove that background. Then we can vectorize as well. We're going to do vectorize image, just one color. And as we can see, it does a fantastic job. So that one's done. Then we have two more to do as well. So let's come onto here, this candy corn cutie really nice coloring page as well again i highly suggest going through and watching yesterday's video because i show you how to take all of these prompts and then come up with some new and unique prompts with different quotes now let's center this as well let's go on to ai background remover this all looks pretty good but what we could do with this one we could remove everything in the QT. So if we zoom in like so, let's right click, use the eraser tool. Now this eraser tool just saves so much time when you want to edit your coloring pages, because as you can see, you can just remove all of the bits that you don't, and it's going to keep it as a transparent background. So you haven't got to faff around and do lots of different stuff to edit your color and pages. But as we can see, it takes seconds to literally edit these and just clean these up. Because you do want these to be the best color in book or the best color in pages that you can create. I went a little bit over, so let's go back one. There we go. Let's just do that again. But you do want to create the best color and pages that you can so it leaves a good customer experience so anything that doesn't quite look right in these color and pages you just want to remove them and look it's just really simple and really quick now we've removed all of that from there now if we zoom out as well and go to vectorize image we're just going to do that again and now this has been turned into that SVG. Now let's move that up like so. And then we just have one more. So let's go back and do this one as well. Let's click on here. Let's go back and do this last one. We'll click download PNG and we'll upload this quickly.
So there we go. Let's just enlarge this as well. Now I don't know what this one's going to turn out like. It should turn out all right. Doesn't look like there's anything that I want to remove. So we're going to do AI background remover and then we'll vectorize this as well. But you can see why Kittle is such an amazing tool actually doing this. And there we go. Now, in fact, let's go back one. I don't quite like the look of the faces on here. So what I would do is just go through and edit these and take away all the faces. But to keep this video a little bit shorter, we're just going to keep that as it is. Let's zoom out, let's go forward one, and there we go. We now have our SVGs. So if we zoom out, we now have five coloring pages, which are SVGs. Now, something that you could do with this is create bundles and sell them on places like Creative Fabrica. You don't just have to create these to sell coloring books. Now, one thing which I quickly forgot to mention, and that is when downloading PNG transparent backgrounds, you do need a pro account. And when converting these to SVGs, you also need a pro account as well. So please keep that in mind that this method is not free. I currently use Kittle myself and pay for Kittle. So this is why I use this method. But anyway, now that's done, we have five. What I do, come to download. We're going to click on artboards. There's only five, so let's just choose the five as well. That's three, four, five. Then we're going to choose SVG and remove background. So I can't remember whether or not the background automatically gets removed, but nonetheless, let's just do that anyway. We click download. Now, the good thing about working in SVGs, when you're uploading and downloading, it literally takes seconds. Unlike if you had a whole coloring book of PNGs. But nonetheless, now let's come over to Canva. Now, right here, this is pretty simple. This is just a square and a piece of I almost said paper. It's not paper. It's just another white square so I could add that drop shadow. And then I put the square border over the top so it looks like this and it gives that shadow effect on this border. But then what I do is simply take those SVGs. I upload them here in Canva, which is going to be really quick as well. So let's grab these, put them over here. I also create a dedicated folder just for that coloring book. So that way things don't get mixed up. And if I want to go back and look through that coloring book, possibly use it for something else, I can simply just search for the folder named that coloring book and I'll have everything in here. Now for this example, it just says YouTube because this is examples on YouTube. But now let's go ahead, let's do five of these like so. Then I simply just take it, put it onto the canvas like this, make sure it is lined up. I'm pretty sure this one's lined up. Let's do center. Let's do middle as well, like so. And let's move on to the next. So let's just quickly go ahead and do all these. We'll put them all onto the canvas like so. And there we go. And then we can just quickly make these bigger like that. And let's just quickly do all of these as well. But as you can see, these are SVGs, which means we could infinitely scale them as well and they won't become blurry. So it doesn't matter what you actually use these for. Now let's do this one as well, just like that. And let's do this last one and then we'll take a quick look. But as you can see, this is a real quick and easy, simple process to make your ideogram coloring pages pretty good quality. So there we go, we now have the coloring pages. We have Creep It Cozy, Candy Corn Cutie. We can see where we erased all of this in the cutie and it just looks a little bit better. And there we go. Let's take a look at this one. Spooky and Snuggly and Wickedly Cute. So again, a really simple process using Kittle and their brand new eraser tool along with their SVG download option. Now, if you want to try out Kittle, I will have a link down below as well. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. But nonetheless, 
These are the two tools which I use to create and edit all of my coloring books at the minute. I use Kittle to edit them, erase all the parts that don't look good, and then turn them into SVGs, and then upload them into Canva, and then this is where I would create my coloring book. So in between each of the coloring pages, I would also have a blank page so that the people coloring this wouldn't get any bleed through onto another design. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.